here we are with another video and in this video I will be talking about the drastic change in the face of hip-hop well the females anyway You know, before we get deep into the video, let's take a trip back to when there were many female rappers and they knew how to rap. These women came into the scene and at this time, they were pretty much along. They talked about important issues such as AIDS and much more. They were dominating the hip hop scene when at the time was predominantly all men. They opened up a lot of doors for future female rappers thereafter. Their influence is still appreciated and never forgotten. Ha <laughs> with her message giving songs such as the iconic song UNITY, she broke many barriers and won many awards, still is. And she's doing it very well as an actress now and producer, director, writer. I mean, she's blazing. There was no one like her at the time. She had the street attitude, a powerful voice, vocabulary, and brains for a future speaker, in which she did become. She's also broken many barriers and still is. I did a video about her. We'll leave the link below. I did a video about Queen Latifah too. I'll leave her link below as well. She brought an entire new flow in her rapping. She was able to go against men and put them to shame. She will always be authentic and the only one of her kind. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Then we have Eve, who came bursting in the scene with her smooth flow and urban hairdo. Not to mention her song with Gwen Stefani called Let Me Blow Your Mind. She will always be the rapper with the short, sexy red hair and a paw print tattoo. <laughs> Foxy Brown who brought an entire new meaning to the word foxy. She joined Lil' Kim in the beautiful black category, especially the predominantly light-skinned female genre in the rap game. She was sexy, hung with the fellas, and didn't mind speaking her mind either. Still the same person too. I did a video about her as well. I will leave the link below. And then you have Lisa who came creeping into the scene with her message filled songs and octave changing voice and crazy attitude with her group members you know at the time of TLC may she rest in peace I did some videos about her as well I will leave the links below Trina who came into the scene with a lot of sex appeal flow and represent many women of her trade she was the chick that you saw hanging with many rappers and more she laid the path for many rappers thereafter. Little Kim, the infamous, the original Queen Bee. She had so much style, so much flow and sex appeal that is still being replicated right to this day. She will always be the one and only of her kind and in my book, the queen of female rapper styles. It started with her. Missy Elliott whom started out as a singer to rapper to now producer. She toned down the seriousness to female rapping at that time with her funny video, sick flow combined with her beautiful singing voice. She was the chick whom you can't help but like. She has and is continuing to break barriers and open many doors for many more after her. I did a video about her as well. I will leave the link below. Lauren Hill, starting actress turned rapper to activist and member of iconic group Fuji's. She stayed true to her roots and that in turn left the mark and she changed the game. She was able to rap and sing and did it with such ease and less effort and did well in both. Thanks to some rappers before her, she wasn't judged much for doing that. She has and still is breaking records. I did a video about her as well. I will leave the link below. 
Yo-Yo, who came into the scene with her sick flow and attitude. She brought a new vibe to the industry. She was able to stand out and partner with many like her, especially with her feature in the song with Brandy, Queen Latifah, and MC Light, one of my favorite songs, and still be rocking it. Now, as you saw, many of these women, not all, started out as embracing their roots. But now the beauty in the face of hip hop is now changing and getting lighter and non-black and or colored or urban anymore. The afro hair, the mini froze, and the dreadlocks are not acceptable anymore. It's about the good looking hair, but with many colors and more, they are more accepted now. And of course, a brighter face. I mean, look at the transition in many of these female rappers. So you see, the transition is complete. Signs of this was with Little Kim confusion that flowed to Nicki Minaj and later result Cardi B, who in my opinion, you know, I'm not going there about her. Anyway, but you get my point. I mean, have you heard about all of her nominations? I'm talking about Cardi B. But the question is, for what? I would tell you, they want to change history and the root of hip hop. They already did it with the uh, history of Egyptian pharaohs and queens and so on and with that. Heck, they're getting so good at the change and brainwashing that they had Jennifer Lopez headline Motown. Yes, Jennifer Lopez, who started off using black slash color rappers slash talents to get ahead in the music community and industry. Then when she saw a window, she was out and never looked back. Heck, she barely socialized with uh, black slash color people anymore or work with them. But she knows in certain situations, she doesn't have a choice. Oh, and her karma will come. All I'm trying to say is, is that they're trying to reshape female rappers. They want it to be more Latino and lighter skin. I mean, who would be the perfect person to get this done? Yes, you said it. Desperate and not very bright Cardi B. I mean, they're going to milk slash publicize her like Drake. Oh, and of course, you have Bruno Mars. She will become invincible and more powerful than ever. That's unless some of our older legends stop being chickens and speak up. Heck, the men do it all the time. Tell me what you all think.